Hello, good morning. I'd like to welcome you to this, the annual meeting of the UK Metric Association. A special word of welcome to those of our guests who haven't yet joined the association. If you feel you'd like to, please do feel free and you'll find us on ukma.org.uk. So I sort of thought of this presentation, this is just, uh, there's no slides to this, but um, I was kind of inspired by a talk I was hearing about electric vehicles. Um, and the, the presenter was saying that he's talking about how some people say, oh, I won't drive an electric car because it's for various reasons. And he gave this very simple statement. He said, you need to give people a reason to change over and then they'll change over to whatever that is, whether it's vehicles, measurements, anything. So I was kind of um, putting this together just to think about ways that can be done. And um, I think the, one of the main things, you know, we've talked about what things should we focus on, what changes should we focus on. And I think the main one really is road signs because that's one of the biggest things which is still holding out. I say pints, you know, you can, it's not probably not so important, but, um, but yeah, road signs are the things that everybody sees, everybody uses, people coming to this country see that difference. That's the key difference. Um, so really, this is down to government, really. So thinking about, think going back to when we went decimal with currency in, back in 1971, um, that was a big change, you know, if you think about it. Um, again, same kind of arguments. This is a very traditional system used for centuries. Um, it came from the Romans, I think, even that system of pound, shillings and pence. Um, and it was actually, I think, used in many places in Europe as well, originally. But we changed over. And if you change over like that, then people have to use it. And you can make the same argument with, you know, change over to the euro in many uh, European countries. If people use it, they get used to it and they have to, because they just have to, there's no option for them. Um, so, and this has been the case with many countries like Australia, um, you know, countries have changed over to metric. Um, it doesn't happen straight away, but it certainly does happen after, you know, a few years, maybe 10, 20 years for some people. So the key thing I think is, well, government has to, when it comes to road signs and road, everything like that, that is something that the government has to be persuaded to do because that is actually what will make people change to that particular system. People are not going to say, oh, we want um, kilometres and road signs. Very few people would actually say that. You know, it's, not, it's not a grassroots movement that people are going to ask for that change, apart from people like us. But... Um, if the government actually if it's done though then people will have to change so that's um that was a key thing i, I wanted to mention but i think it's also just worth mentioning that our country has been very slowly going metric over the decade over the years sometimes in big jumps sometimes in smaller jumps um and sometimes it just happens um without any particular input. And I, I'll give you a sort of very niche example of that. So um, Terry was talking about aviation uh, just now. Um, so I actually, I do gliding, which is um, the gliders are basically small airplanes with no engines, not to be confused with hang gliders, but um, now all light aircraft have a weight limit of some kind. And that's um, in gliding that has traditionally been measured in pounds in this country. Now, of course, pounds, nobody measures their weight in pounds only. So that's always been a bit of an oddity because people kind of have to get to, especially get to know their weight in pounds only. Um, so, um, but I had a, a couple of years break from it. I came, went back to my gliding club and found to my pleasant surprise that they'd changed all their weights over to kilograms for weight limits, which is well overdue. But that was not with my input or any suggestion that just happened i'm not sure who suggested it um, but it happened and about time so it's, it's, an, it's a so that means of course now more people in that particular field will now be getting to know their weights in kilograms because again have to do that so um so i think some of it is down to just individual people but a lot of it is down to government actually introducing certain things so people just have to use it. 
and I think that is certainly for road signs anyway um, that is really the key thing so um, the other example would probably be uh, weights people's body weight that one of the key sort of proponents of using stones and pounds would be like dieting dieting magazines you know the, the type you know uh, all those sort of losing weight like weight watchers and so on those those are the ones that kind of keep that going whereas actually gyms and medical services use kilograms so if you look at that's like a these fitness magazines you often see the weights in kilograms and again i've heard um people who have conditions like diabetes they're 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 always weighed in kilograms and i actually have heard from personal experience um because i work with uh, people who are diabetic that um you know, they'll actually express the weight in kilograms as that's their doctors, that's their checkups give them. So it just goes to show how anybody can get used to these measurements as long as they are actually using them. Um, so yeah, I think um, this is a brief one, but it, uh, it, it kind of just shows there has to be a government impetus for some of these things to actually get to work. Otherwise, people just quite happy continue using the status quo. So, um, and I think that also happened with kilograms for measurement as well for loose goods. Again, most people, I think it's fair to say, will use kilograms if they're buying loose goods. It's only a small minority, vocal minority, who kind of say, oh, we, we only understand pounds and so on, which I think most people actually would understand kilograms as well. And that's because it's been used for 20 years now. So, yeah, that shows just how ridiculous this government idea actually is so that's what i wanted to say with that one any um any suggestions about uh adding to that before i go into the next topic the next